What's going on Spartans? King here and I am at 3600 trophies as many of you know and I have a special episode I want to do for you guys as a reward for all my loyal Spartans out there. As you can see I'm pausing it right here but I'm dropping those lightning taking out those wizards and mortars and oh no I did not get it. That's okay we're gonna let that one slide but guys this special episode is two all archer attacks at 3600 trophies. So, drop the double lightning here, try and get rid of those builder's huts and the wizard and mortar, and I fail at getting rid of the wizard and mortar. So this is bad news for all wizard attack. Obviously, you want to get rid of those mortars and wizards immediately in the beginning. I should have been more concentrated on that rather than the percentage, um, and it's going to bite me in the butt a little bit here. But as you can see, just spreading these archers around and dropping the clan castle here, because it does have a golem in it, which is lucky. Going to go ahead and drop my Archer Queen behind that in a second here because that will do some heavy damage. Uh, we'll definitely guard my Queen very well while she goes ahead and just lights this base up. We're at 30% almost here and my Archers are going ham, going real heavy on the bottom. Going to drop the King and then give it a second and drop some more Archers spreading around the base. Obviously, I want the King to go around the outside here and get rid of the percentage. And the Queen, unfortunately, left the Golem behind so she no longer has her Meat Shield at all. The golem's got a ton of health, and she is on her own. And so I invisible—I actually make her invisible there so that she doesn't get hurt too badly. Sorry, my voice kind of hurting today, guys. It probably sounds a little deeper. Uh, I'm kind of tired. But yeah, as you can see here, just going to pause for a sec. You can see this. This queen is at low health, and we started. Hold on a sec. Well, we got a little bit of a glitch going on. I don't know what happened there. Weird. I thought that was actually a pause I did, but I guess I glitched. Anyway, queen's going down right there, 63%. The golem's still alive with plenty of health. The queen goes down. So, the golem has a ton left in him, and that's unfortunate because if the queen could have been protected a little longer, we would have been pretty much golden. We would have got the town hall for sure if we could have got rid of that inferno tower. But we failed to do that, but got one trophy and about 90,000 loot, which is nothing, but 1,000 dark, which is okay. And uh, the real thing is the loot bonus is 120k of each, and that pays for my spells and my troops. And it allows me to get one trophy very, very fast. Now, this base is a trap base, so I'm dropping some archers to get rid of the bombs here. None of the bombs are blowing up. And, oh, there's one. Bingo, got it. All right, so we're just going to continue to lay down troops, finding each of these bombs here. Spread around the base. You can see I'm going real light in a real, really, really, really light line of troops. Just trying to find all those little hidden bombs, because I know they're here. And this is obviously a base made to kill people who barch. Because of the fact that there's a lot outside the walls... However, a couple well-placed bombs can really, really mess your troops up, especially with the way the walls are placed on the outside there. And you can see here, I got that double bomb right there, and it still killed like about five or six of my archers, but I saved a lot of them. Um, the double bomb, big bomb, would have really wrecked a lot of troops if you were not paying attention to that. I was a little slow on hitting the bombs, but I still got rid of them in time. We're at 25% almost, and doing really well. Just slowly, slowly getting around this base. And uh, you may think, wow... You really took a long time to drop your spells. And you know what? You're right. I saved the spells all the way to the end. I probably didn't need to use them, but I decided to anyway just because we weren't doing so well. So 34%. Got about 60 archers left. I could definitely take out those outer buildings without a problem. And then I do have my king and queen and my clan castle. So going to spread out some archers here in the clan castle too. The clan castle does have a P.E.K.K.A., which is pretty solid, guys. But as you could tell in these last two raids... Even if there wasn't a P.E.K.K.A. in the clan castle or a golem or anything, I still would have got the 50% win because, I mean, come on, 63%? You don't get 63% because of a golem or a P.E.K.K.A. We both know that's false. It would never happen. Anything in your clan castle could never get you 13% of a base. So, obviously, did a good job without the clan castle, but we're still going to use them anyway. 50%. The queen's going down pretty fast, so I invisible her. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let her go go ham here, get a few more points, and then rage the king here, get a few more. 55%, the king goes down, get rid of that expo, and a few archers left, 57%. And uh, yeah, that's going to be about it. The queen does get through with a few archers, but it's going to end up here real fast. Nothing really left, unfortunately, for me to do. Got one lightning spell left, and I'm not going to use it. There's no point, but I hope you guys enjoyed this raid. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely stay tuned for more. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.